Welcome to my channel. I'm just going to do a piece about making a simple common rafter. This is a popular topic on YouTube. Um, lots of guys want to know how to do it and there's several ways to do it but this is the way I do it. It's very straightforward and I do it using a framing square and in my case it's a metric framing square. So the first job is simply measure the span. So we'll measure our span, in my case in millimetres, and we'll write that down. And I've got 1,800 millimetres. So that's all we need for now. And we take that back to our bench. The pitch of my roof is 45 degrees. So I'll start by setting up my square at 45 degrees. This involves placing the edge of the rafter in line with the rafter icon here and bringing round the scale to 45, which represents 45 degrees. This gives me a plumb cut here and a seat cut here. So obviously 45 degrees is an equal pitch, whether it's, you know, it's, it's the same pitch from vertical and horizontal. If, for example, it was a 35 degree pitch, I'd do exactly the same thing. I'd have my rafter line here and I'd run my, the scale round to 35 degrees and that would be my plumb cut and that would be my seat cut. But as I say, we're at 45, so we'll set that to 45. Now I've got a simple fence which I use. This is just a piece of Lexan and a piece of hardwood and we just slot the square through it and we, we align those marks up. So in my case, the rafter line and bring that round to 45 there and here. There we go, 45 and rafter. We just tighten that off. And there we have it. So that's it now. So that's the square set. And I know I'm gonna be marking a cut on the end of each one of my rafters so I can just get those done quickly. That's my top cut or my ridge cut. Now we need to work out the length. So using my app I'm going to choose equal pitch and it's asking me for my span. That's the measurement I wrote down which is 1,800 millimeters. Then it's asking me for ridge. Now what that means is the ridge thickness. So sometimes we use a single timber, sometimes we use two timbers or a steel, and then this will deduct the thickness. In my case, it's 46 millimeters. It's then asking me simply, what is the angle of your roof? Well, I know it's 45, so I add 45 in there, and then all I need to do is press equals that's given me my rafter length of 1,240 millimetres. So I will then take that length and I'll mark it down one of my rafters. So that's 1,240 millimetres here. Then we simply mark another plumb cut at this position. Here. And that is the line of the back of the wall plate. Then in the case of a four by two or a hundred by 50, we always want to keep this to two thirds for the strength of the foot that's going beyond it. So we divide that by three. You can run your tape round to say 120 and it's easier to divide that by three. And I can see that, so it's four, eight, 12. That's two thirds there. I'll mark that there. That is effectively my seat cut, which is what sits on the plate. I mark that there. And there we have the basic common rafter. That's our bird's mouth. That's our top cut. And it's as easy as that. I'll make that as a template. I'll cut these all the same. And we'll have three pairs of rafters then ready to put up and fit. The only other thing I want to do is add on to my drop, which is my soffit cut effectively. And I know that I'd like to have that at 200 millimeters down. So by using my square, 
this is the top of the wall plate across this line here and I want to be 200 millimeters down. Now that would be measured plumb in line with this part of the square if you like. So 200 millimeters down would be there. So that is measured. You could equally do it like this from the bottom of the square to the bird's mouth, 200 millimeters. And that is exactly where we need to be. So we'll get those cut now. And we've got ourselves a roof.
And there we have a few rafters ready to go in. 